Dear Dr. Washington, growing up on the south side of Chicago, while I knew at an early age I wanted to become a physician, I did not see one that looked like me. I had this sweet older male black physician as a pediatrician who passed out lollipops and thought this precocious little black girl was much too serious for such a young age. No matter the alternatives placed before me, becoming a physician never changed in my mind, even as I entered college as a pre-medical student. This was the first time that I finally saw someone that looked like me doing what I wanted to do. It was Miranda Bailey on this new show called Grey's Anatomy. I was in love, and when I was not studying, I would watch this show. I even made my mom and little brother watch it with me. That show motivated me through the years of organic chemistry and the frustrations of physics. I would succeed just like Miranda Manda Bailey, MD, and become a force to be reckoned with in medicine. Fast forward to a certain diversity mentorship event where I eagerly place myself in front of you, all too aware of the general surgery under your name. We talked and you shared your background and I shared my interests. What stood out was your slight Memphis drawl, so warm and comforting. It reminded me of my family and I thought I had to keep in contact with her. Then you informed me you were leaving soon. So I thought, well, dang, guess the timing wasn't right. I moved on begrudgingly so that my classmates would also get a chance to chat with you. The next time I saw you was at the surgery interest group meeting where you shared exquisite pearls about your journey through medical school and residency. I hung back after the meeting and got your contact info, trying my best to build a natural rapport. We didn't talk again until you were teaching our GI unit. And I could not hide from your questions on the Zoom, even with my camera off. You demanded excellence from me for this unit and I refused to disappoint. I hadn't been pushed like this since my summer school days with my grandma. And that's when I knew from the obvious care and mentorship that you naturally poured into me, I found a real life Dr. Bailey. There's no greater feeling than seeing someone that looks like you where you want to be. The confidence and excellence you exude is what I hope to one day attain. You live and give yourself so genuinely, reaching back for those coming behind you with support and encouragement. I continue to watch and learn from the impeccable, tenacious example you set as a Black woman in surgery drawing inspiration on my tough days as a medical student. Until the fall of my first year of medical school, I had only a fictional character to look to as who I wanted to become as a physician. Then I met Dr. Kimberly Washington and having a mentor I can touch and give flowers to is so, so, so much better. Thank you for all you do this precocious little black girl from the south side of Chicago thinks the world of you. Sincerely, Charna Kennard. And Charna is such a great student. You know, she reaches out, she constantly, you know, emails, texts in order to stay in, like interested and uh, connected. She really knows how to be a mentee, um, which makes being a mentor a lot easier. So when you when you have someone who is um, teachable, then that's so much, it's so much easier to be, to be a teacher, to be a leader when you have someone who's, who's there. And so she's, she's definitely been one of those students who will forever stick out in my mind. And I mean, there's no, no question about it. Charna's gonna end up wherever she wants to end up. There's, there's no question in my mind. And this was an amazing letter. I, you know, some of these details I obviously didn't know, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's a great encouragement for me and it definitely encourages me to continue to mentor other students, um, whether they're pre-med students or in medical school or residents or even younger surgeons than myself, um, because you really can't make a difference in someone in someone's life by just, um, being present and being willing to share your experiences and your um, your wisdom, even if it's just a little bit. <laughs> so this is great.